we are asked to find the least common denominator, or LCD, for the pairs of fractions. The least common denominator, or LCD, of two fractions is the same as the least common multiple, or LCM, of the two denominators. In this video, we will be using the column method to determine the LCM, or LCD, where the first step is to determine the prime factorization of the denominators. So for A, we begin by determining the prime factorization of 18 and the prime factorization of 27. 18 is equal to two times nine, two is prime, and nine is equal to three times three, both of which are prime. The prime factorization of 18 is two times three times three. Now determine the prime factorization of 27. 27 is equal to three times nine, three is prime, and nine is equal to three times three, both of which are prime. Step two, we list the primes with the same primes in the same column when possible. Which means to begin, we write the prime factorization of 18, which is two times three times three. So we can think of these three prime factors as being in three columns, the first, second, and third column. Now we write the prime factorization of 27 under the prime factorization of 18, but we write the same prime factors in the same column. So because the prime factorization of 27 is three times three times three, we write the first prime factor of three in the second column under the prime factor of three in 18. We write the second prime factor of three under the next three. And because the prime factorization of 27 has three threes, we write the third three in the fourth column. We don't write the three under the two, because two and three are not equal. Notice now we have four columns. This is the first column, the second column, the third column, and the fourth column. Step three is to bring down the prime factor in each column, which means we bring down a two from the first column, a three from the second column, a three from the third column, and a three from the fourth column. The product of these prime factors is the least common denominator, or least common multiple. Two times three is six, six times three is 18, 18 times three is 54. 54 is the least common denominator for the fractions 5 18 and 2 27 Let's look at the second example on the next slide. Step one, determine the prime factorization of 24 and 30. 24 is equal to four times six. Four is equal to two times two, both are prime. Six is equal to two times three, both are prime. The prime factorization of 24 is two times two times two times three. And now we determine the prime factorization of 30. 30 is equal to six times five, five is prime. Six is equal to two times three, both are prime. Step two, we list the primes with the same primes in the same column when possible. So we begin by listing the prime factorization of 24, which is two times two times two times three. So right now we have four columns of primes. When we write the prime factorization of 30, we want to write the same primes in the same column. Because the prime factorization of 30 is two times three times five, we write the prime factor of two under one of these twos, let's just say the first one, times. The next prime factor of 30 is three. We write the three under the prime factor of three and 24, which is here. And the last prime factor of 30 is five. There is no prime factor of five and 24. We write the prime factor of five in the next column. Notice we have one, two, three, four, five columns. Step three is to bring down the factor in each column. We bring down a two from the first column, a two from the second column, a two from the third column, a three from the fourth column, and a five from the fifth column. This product is the least common denominator of the two fractions which is also the least common multiple of 24 and 30. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times three is 24, times five is 120. 120 
is the least common denominator of the fractions 7 24ths and 11 30ths. I hope you found this helpful.